folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you once again from deadpit.com with yet another review. This one is a little bit different than a lot of the movies that we have reviewed on this channel. I want to tread lightly with some of the subject matter on this, but we're going to get into it from 1977 by way of 88 films in the U.S., Oh, yeah, that's right. Their debut disc release over here in the United States. It's Caesar Canaveri's The Gestapo's Last Orgy. So if you can't guess by the title, this is a Nazi exploitation film from 1977. Around this time period, there was a lot of this sort of thing. A lot of these movies kind of made it over in Italy. The Ilsa movies, which we have talked about on the show years ago, it had been a long time since I've seen anything like this. I tried to take time to watch it alone. This is kind of a movie you don't watch with, with a group of people. The movie itself has been banned almost everywhere, and I think it's still banned in the United Kingdom, which is why ADA Films does not have a release over there yet. But this is a movie, again, a lot of the Nazi exploitation movies has some really offensive stuff, especially for today's society. Something like this would never get made. Film follows young Lisa, who is a prisoner of war that has been recruited to a sex camp. Now, I'm not sure. I'm sure well, they, they probably had those back in the day. I don't know. The camp itself is led by the evil, sadistic Commandant Starker. Okay, he puts all of the women... It's kind of like a brothel for the for the German soldiers, and the, they kind of torture the women and do whatever they want to with them, and all that craziness. But Lisa is special in that she doesn't react. She doesn't say, please... Don't hurt me. Don't grab my nipples and twist them all around with pliers. You know, don't don't shit on me and smear it all over my belly. They do weird shit like that in this kind of. Um, you know, she doesn't really react. And they like, you know, they they want their women to beg and, and kind of say, please don't. Please, I'm sorry. Come on now. And she just doesn't react. And that kind of ticks them off. They're like, what in the hell, man? So eventually, Commandant and Lisa kind of have a thing going um, on between them. And the Commandant does more and more evil shit to her. And I'll just say it kind of goes from there. There's, there's a lot of stuff along the way and has an ending, kind of a revenge type ending without giving it away. To be honest with you, I was kind of surprised with this. This is, you know, it, it definitely some subject matter that's sensitive for a lot of people. Um, so it's one of those movies that you want to be careful who you watch it with. Some of the stuff that you can even joke about in the movie, which I, you know, I have a sick sense of humor anyway. You got to be a little bit careful with it. Um, the Gestapo's Last Orgy, though, as far as a movie goes, it's technically very well made. A lot of the scenes in it are really, really, you know, well done, as odd as that seems. And they have some crazy shit in this movie, too. One particular scene, there's like an evil female SS officer by the name of Alma who goes around. And there's one scene in the movie where she checks the prisoner's vagina, right? The one that actually is on the period... On, on their menstrual cycle, is fed to Rottweilers. And there's another scene where the Commandant and some of the other higher-ups feast upon, I don't know any other way to call it, it's Jew stew. They make a stew out of Jews and yeah, indulge. So there's some crazy, you know, there's, there's one scene where a, a female... A prisoner smears Nazi feces all over her because, according to them in the movie, the Nazis were the superior 
you know, race or whatever. It's some crazy shit. I can definitely understand why this movie um, is banned over in the UK still to this day. And there's not a lot, like there's light, kind of lighthearted stuff in the Ilsa She-Wolf movie. You don't get this at all in Gestapo's Last Orgy. You get, yeah, I mean, it's, it's mean-spirited stuff. And at the same time, it's very well made. It's a well-made movie. It's actually a recommendation, right? If this is something that sounds like would be up your alley, you may want to check it out. 88 Films did a great restoration on this. This movie looks great. It's a 2K restoration. Um, has a variety of different interviews and commentaries and stuff like that. I will put a freeze frame of the features on it as well. Um, and then, you know, the, it comes in a slip cover with, I think I can show the front cover. I want to try to avoid getting a strike of any kind. Um, and then it's got a back cover, which I cannot show. And some other stuff in here. There's a booklet that tells about the making of the movie. There's a poster as well, which I want to double check. You get a poster in this. So this one's okay, I think, to show. Uh, and then the other one, let's take this part out here. There you go. So some cool extras along with it, and it's a reversible cover as well. So um, the Gestapo's Last Orgy from 88 Films. And like I said, this is the first foray in the United States. 88 films. So I'm looking forward to some more stuff that they're coming out with. You know, hopefully it's some more, it's something more lighthearted than the Gestapo's last orgy. But at the same time, Hey, I'm, I'm kind of glad I checked this out. I, I gotta say I enjoyed it for what it was. You know, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that was in it. As far as the movie goes though, I mean, it's like a car wreck almost. Like I was kind of drawn to it, but that is it for the review, though. The Gestapo's Last Orgy is out now from 88 Films. Check it out. Check us out over at deadpit.com. Just a thumbs up. Up your butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.